right, there you go. One, two, three. All right, we're good? Right, yeah, I got it. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. second act, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> but I do want to thank Zach especially for inviting all of us yep. to the wedding. Yeah. So that's what it You know, it's even better. He agreed to pay for everything. <laughs> oh, right and back we're going to have colonial ice cream. <laughs> so we are delighted to welcome Zach and Kirsty to Geneva. We know that you have been familiar with our community for a number of years. And we know that you in particular have sunk your heart and soul into this. Mm -hmm. So we're delighted that you've chosen Geneva as your home. And what better day to celebrate not only love, <laughs> but also cookie dough bliss uh, treats. Everything's free, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations and thank you. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Are you able to talk? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, <laughs> she missed it. Yeah, she missed it. Um, <laughs> My best friend just got here. Show her. Show her. Snatch her pose. That's what you get for being late. <laughs> um, so, I'll kind of go over a little bit of how we decided to open Cookie Bliss. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've wanted to open some type of bakery type of thing since I was little. Um, bakery's all baking has always kind of been a passion of mine. Um, my mom went to Gatlinburg two years ago. She kind of goes every year. It's kind of just a trip she does. And uh, went into a cookie dough bliss down there and called me and asked what I thought of edible cookie dough. And obviously, <laughs> um, and she told me to look up Cookie Dough Bliss online, see what I thought about it, and I called um, the uh, CEO of Cookie Dough Bliss. We talked for quite a bit and decided that I wanted to open one. Um, Zach owns another business that has to do with automotives, um, so I was surprised that he was actually interested in wanting to open Cookie Dough Bliss with me um, because I couldn't see him working on cars during the day and then going and making cookie dough at night. Um, Turning wrenches, wrenches by day and scoopers by night. Right. I just, it, it just seemed very different to me, um, but probably one of the luckiest things I could have asked for having him with me um, because I couldn't do it without him. Um, and we signed before we tried the product. Everything just kind of fell into place with us. When yeah. we started talking about it, we said it'd be great where that cupcake place is in Geneva. Is. We're like, that's never going to happen. Here we are. Like, it, literally everything just fell into place. It was great. Just, just how we wanted it to plan out and um, play out. And so um, we signed 
started right before the pandemic, and then the pandemic hit, and we were supposed to open in May, and then November came, and we just said we're doing it. Um, so now it's nice out, and we decided it's time to do an actual grand opening. Yeah, time so, to celebrate. Yeah. So we appreciate everybody coming. Yeah. Well, you yeah. made it pretty exciting. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Usually these things are pretty boring. <laughs> All right, let's cut the ribbon, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Skylar so, and Megan, and you get to do the. Or do we stay on the side? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Know what? Let me get out front. All right. So. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Uh oh, that's hard. Yeah!